This is uh, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta, Paul from Pittsburgh, PA, and today I'm looking at a new piece of gear I just picked up, the Zhigu DE19 sound card, and uh, this sound card is uh, for use with uh, the Zhigu G90, uh, the 108G, and uh, probably any other uh, Zhigu um, equipment that does not have a built-in sound card. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, a couple of digital modes and see how the settings and the setup uh, goes so hopefully that'll help you if you purchased uh, the Zhigu DE19. Okay Kilo 2 Papa Mike Delta back here looking at the, the front part of my Zhigu G90 uh, and uh, you'll see that the I have the X uh, Zhigu DE19 uh, box uh, sitting right on top of the radio. I've got the fan hooked up. It's uh, never runs that hot but I like to have the fan on. Uh, the um, Antenna is a uh, random wire, 53 foot uh, wire heading out of the shack to about 20 feet in the air. Um, 53 foot wire to 9 to 1 on on. Works fine, it's a little noisy, but it's just for testing purposes. I use that antenna, I use a different antenna for my shack radio. But you'll see uh, the basic uh, setups that you'll probably notice if you've ever used a uh, uh, any of the other types of boxes, the rig runners or uh, the signal link or even the little ones, uh, the digi modes. Uh, same type of uh, cable necessities here, a CIV cable, an ACC cable, and of course you'll hook up your uh, rig control cable to that little guy right down there in the bottom there. You'll notice also I have uh, the ferrite beads on all my cables and a ferrite core uh, that is uh, wrapped around the cable uh, several times for the USB keep RF out. Uh, a couple of things you'll need to remember about the uh, G90 is that uh, there is no digital mode. You simply put the radio into the AGC off position. Uh, you press the function button once and you make sure uh, you are in a line. Uh, and it's this input line and that's pretty much all you have to do for the um, digital modes uh, you want to go in and make sure that your uh, input volume that's the long press on the program button and you'll go next and you'll see your aux in volume should be about 10 and I have my aux out volume set to 12 and those are the, all the settings you'll need to do on the Zhigu G90. I suspect it's the same for the, the 108G. Um, maybe not, but that's the way it is for the G90. Now we're going to take a look at uh, Ham Radio Deluxe uh, operating on PSK31 as well as uh, FT8. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at that. Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. Okay, Kilo 2, Papa Mike Delta. We're back. We're looking at my screen. And here we're going to open up Ham Radio Deluxe. We're going to see how the settings are set up for the Zhigu G90. You'll see it's a Comport 9, uh, which is my Comport that I'm using. It might be different on yours. You can check that out by going to your uh, right-clicking on your Windows uh, logo there, hitting Device Manager. And then looking at your COM ports, see COM port 9 there, that's uh, what you should be seeing there, or whatever number it is for your radio. And uh, all this is uh, based upon the ICOM uh, 7000, Zhigu uh, uh, 90, G90 is not in the uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, but it works just fine with the ICOM. And so we'll connect, uh, we'll see a bunch of things open up. Uh, the first thing that's opening up here that you'll see is the uh, Digital Masters uh, 780 and uh, we are looking at uh, uh, the 1474 which is not where we want to be so let's go over to our rig control here and we'll change that to 1470 which is our uh, PSK frequency and as I was doing that changing the frequency here on uh, the rig control for HRD, it's changing the frequency on my radio. And so we'll switch back now to uh, Digital Master um, 7E, and I'm on BS, uh, uh, BPSK 31. 
and there are no signals out here that I can see, uh, but I'm going to send CQ uh, three times so you can at least see how clean this signal is that I'm sending out. Uh, you'll see uh, I set this up, CQ, 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 this is K2 PMD, K2 PMD, this signal is really nice. Um, and I uh, made some contact last night on uh, PSK and uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, so if I had my other radio on, you could see an overloaded antenna receiving a S9 plus 100 uh, signal coming from the other antenna. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but uh, you can see uh, the settings here for, um, for uh, the um, Digital Master 780. It's on Windows XP and really not a big deal. The sound card is your USB audio device, uh, your push to talk should be hammer your deluxe uh, or whatever you're using or if you're just using a COM port. Uh, and so those are the kinds of things you want to make sure you have set up uh, the sound card, PTT, uh, and uh, of course uh, you'll need to set up all of your information here as well. Uh, so that's uh, really the only thing you need to set up to get going. Uh, now, if I want to use FT8 with uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, I do need to turn off my, my uh, Digital Master uh, 780, which runs our Aridi and PSK and all those other wonderful digital modes that are out there that you can use with Ham Radio Deluxe. And so I'm going to shut this down, but my rig control is still on, right? And my logbook is still open. And so now I can open up JTDX and I've got that set to Ham Radio Deluxe. Uh, you'll see that once it finishes its loading, right now it seems to be a little hung up, but let's go to File, Settings, uh, Radio is Ham Radio Deluxe. I keep uh, the mode on None, and then fake it on the Test Cat. Let's see how that works uh, there. And it's gonna take a little while maybe for it to turn green. I can see uh, some stations loading up right now. I'm going to hit Test Cat again, see what's going on. Uh, I think it's working. Let's test. Uh, well, we got to wait for the Test Cat green light to come on before we can test the PTT. Uh, one of the cool things, I'm going to take this uh, off here real quick. You'll see on the DNE90, it is sending signals back and forth. And uh, bringing that phone near the radio caused all sorts of RF issues. Test cat is green. I'm going to hit test PTT. My radio just went into um, uh, transmit mode. And so I'm okay. I'm good to go. Let's uh, see if we can get a station here. Find a strong station that might be easy to get. Uh, looks like uh, K7 CMI is uh, pretty uh, strong, uh, minus two, probably out in California sometime. You'll notice uh, here on the Zhigu G90, well, we'll let it uh, go another cycle here. But you're going to see um, we're on uh, the FT8 uh, frequency, and the SWR uh, here should be fine. The cool thing about the G90 is the incredible internal tuner that can tune a wet noodle. And uh, we're going to go into transmit mode here, I think, any second now, unless uh, KCM, K7CMI is talking to somebody else. And it seems like they are. So let's just uh, randomly choose someone else here, KR0P. So there you can see my watts are out is 18. My ALC is 76. Jigu says anything between 30 and 90 is good. Uh, so we are looking for K-R-O-P right now, and he's minus 8, and uh, as you can see, the numbers look good. I, I'm using, of course, the internet time. Uh, well, K-R-O-P or K-R-0-P is with IW3RQT. Anyway, I just wanted you to see how wonderful this little box works. Um, uh, the, eight, the, the volume is pretty high. I want to let you hear this real quick. That's on one. So that is really loud. I guess I could lower it. I, if you'll see my, uh, you know, if I put the AGC on, watch what happens here. 
we'll bring it down a bit. So I'm almost wondering if I could just keep it on AGCF uh, so my signal isn't so hot coming in, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my personal issue that I have with uh, how loud that signal is. Uh, still seems clean. Anyway, I hope this uh, video was helpful to you. I know I've been rambling on a bit, but the Jigu DE19 sound card is uh, worth the money. Uh, it does the job. Uh, I have it uh, connected to my Jigu G90 with a couple of uh, uh, Velcro, uh, double-sided Velcro things, and uh, it's uh, ready to go. It's going to make operating ready. PSK, FT8, JS8 call, whatever you want. Really simple, really a nice little box, not a big uh, footprint on that, and uh, especially if you've got the uh, uh, the smaller 108G. Uh, what a great little box. Made by Jigu, right, for its own equipment. The other DigiRig and uh, the other things that I have all work fine, um, and uh, I do like them, but it's good to have a, a box made by the company uh, that produces the radios because you know it'll work perfectly every time. Kilo 2 Papa Mike Delta, thanks for watching and uh, leave some comments uh, if I'm doing something wrong. I love to know. I'm not, uh, I've only been a ham four or five years and appreciate every bit of advice I can get and every bit of Elmering I can get from just about anybody. Kilo 2 Papa Mike Delta, take care and uh, we'll see you down the log. 7 3.